welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Shalini and I make videos about technology, data science, professional development advice, and more. Today I'm going to be giving some resources and advice on how to learn SQL. So first, what is SQL? SQL or SQL, I've heard it both ways, I don't think there's a right or wrong way, but it's a very common language that data scientists use. It's slightly different from other languages you may have used, like Python or R. SQL is a query language. It stands for Structured Query Language. With SQL, you define queries, and these queries are good at getting information from databases. You can also do other things like inserting, deleting, or manipulating databases with this as well. It's a relatively easy language to learn. There are certain keywords in SQL, which I'll get into in another video. But the nice thing is there aren't too many keywords that you have to learn in order to understand how to use SQL. With all the queries you make, you end up using the same basic format of a query and you end up using similar keywords every time. All of that is to say SQL is a key part of data science. SQL is an essential tool for any data retrieval from a relational database. In all my data science internships previously, I have always had to use SQL to get the data and to even start to understand it properly. As important as SQL is, a lot of my classes in undergrad didn't really focus too much on it. We maybe spent a few days or max a week on learning SQL. So I found myself looking for external resources to learn more about SQL and to get comfortable with it. Here are just a few resources I have found helpful to learn more about SQL. I'll make sure to put the links in the description below. There are different styles of resources. Some are written tutorials, others are just practice problems, and some are full courses. Let's go! First is W3Schools. They have a whole area on their website dedicated just for SQL, and within that section there is a page for each SQL concept and keyword. On each of these individual pages, there is a brief description of the keyword and how you would use it. They give an example which you can play around with on the site itself, which is really nice. You don't have to download any additional software in order to actually run SQL. They also give practice problems for each of the concepts, that way you can practice it yourself. Practice is the best way to get comfortable with SQL, so this is a great resource in order to do that. The next resource I think is really helpful is mode.com. It's similar to W3Schools where there's a page for each of the concepts and SQL keywords. Each page has a short description of what the keyword is, how to use it, and a bunch of practice problems associated with that keyword. I really like the site because it's separated into easy, medium, and advanced concepts. Based on what concepts are under each of those categories, you can gauge how far along you are in your SQL knowledge. And you can keep improving and moving from easier to harder concepts. Another great resource is HackerRank. They don't have tutorials about SQL, but they do have practice problems. There are a lot of easy level problems and a few medium and harder level problems on the site. If you've just learned about the concepts of SQL and you want to test it out, HackerRank is a really good site to go to in order to start getting some more practice. It's a good practice site to make sure you have the basic concepts down and that you understand how to use each of the keywords. Another really good resource for practicing SQL problems is leak code under the database section. There are a bunch of practice problems on this site. Some are free and some aren't, so you want to watch out for those. I think the difficulty level for these leak code problems is slightly harder than the hacker rank problems. Leak code also heads into more interview style SQL problems. So you can code your answer in an environment that looks very similar to what you would experience during a data science SQL interview. Now getting into SQL courses. In general, I think what type of resources you use and if you decide to end up doing a course really depends on your learning style. Courses are typically more structured and they have a good mix of theory and practice. There are a lot of SQL courses out there. Some are paid and some are free. Here are some of the free ones I've used before. If you have a favorite course that you've taken in the past, let me know in the comments below. So one good SQL course is on Khan Academy. It's a good mix of videos, challenges, and projects. So it keeps you engaged as you're learning instead of just reading a whole bunch of text or watching a whole bunch of videos at one time. There are also a ton of courses on edX which are taught by professionals or professors. So they've used SQL many times in their career and they're very skilled at it and they go quite in depth into the courses and most of them are free too. 
They are structured more like regular classes, but they are self-paced, which is nice, so it has that flexibility factor to it. I don't have a particular favorite one on edX, but I would choose a course based on the time commitment that you're willing to dedicate and what level of SQL you want to learn. The courses have a wide range of difficulties, so make sure to look at the syllabus beforehand, that way you can see which one would be the right fit for you, based on your previous knowledge of SQL. And if you've already used SQL in the past but you need a brief refresher, I like using SQL Zoo. They have different stages that cover a concept and there are a ton of practice problems for each concept. I think this is a great resource for quickly practicing some of the keywords and re-familiarizing yourself with SQL before an interview or a test, for example. So those were a few quick resources I had if you wanted to learn or refresh yourself on SQL concepts. SQL is a very common language that data scientists work with, so make sure you are comfortable with working with SQL too. If you have any questions or if you have any favorite resources that you like to use, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe for more tips and advice and videos in general, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!